Welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to be joined by Indra Nicholas from Home Instead Senior Care. Indra, great to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. So tell us, tell us about your organization. What do you guys do? We have caregivers that go out and provide in-home care for seniors in their home, wherever that may be. And we're seeing a, an increase in the number of seniors that have Alzheimer's and other dementias, hmm. which is what we're going to talk about, yeah, I think. Yeah, why are we, uh, perhaps, let me, yeah, why are we seeing an increase? Uh, I think just baby boomers are coming. There's people are living longer. Sure. And, that makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then uh, uh, it's it's a you know a significant month for Alzheimer's. Tell us. Uh, it is. It's Global Alzheimer's Awareness Month. We just had on Saturday a memory walk, raising funds for the Alzheimer's Association mm -hmm. and just bringing awareness to people of the disease and mm -hmm. what we can do to help. Yeah. Okay. And I understand you had a workshop earlier today, but you're also having one uh, coming up in a couple of weeks in October, correct? We are. We train our caregivers in Alzheimer's education so we can better serve our clients. And we're providing that same training um, in a condensed version, free to family caregivers who are struggling to provide care for their loved ones. They're free workshops. We have them in Grants Pass and Medford. Um, our next one is October 2nd in Medford. Anyone can call us at the mm -hmm. office, 541-734-2700 in Medford. Mm -hmm. Grants Pass, our next one will be October 16th, and those are both 1 to 4 p.m. Very good. Okay. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll have much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our 5 on 5. Again, we're here with Indra Nicholas from Home Instead Senior Care. So why is it so important, Indra, that, that people take the time to come to one of your uh, events? Well, I think they'll find really valuable and pertinent information to help them care for their loved ones. It's a very challenging disease to deal with. There mm -hmm. are behavioral issues, and there are just really good strategies and tips that people can learn that will help them to effectively manage. Yeah, Alzheimer's is very difficult for the entire family, of course. What other resources do you guys provide people or, or uh, tips or anything like that that you can help people with that? Right, we're happy to, um, we just wanna get education out there for people to let them know that there is help. Sometimes people feel isolated and don't know where to turn. Families get stressed, there's anxiety and worry. Um, so we have a website, homeinstead.com, that has tons of resources for family caregivers. They can get information on Alzheimer's and other dementias. Um, caring for yourself is a big, uh, mm -hmm valuable thing to learn to do that many caregivers don't do. Um, we also have a new app for the smartphone um, that's designed to help people to get information on a, if they're in a situation and need help right now on Alzheimer's. It, yes, Very tips good. and information yeah. from other caregivers and experts. Okay, and then uh, if you don't mind telling our viewers again, obviously they missed today's workshop, but have uh, upcoming ones in Medford and Grants Pass. Tell we, us again when those are. We do. In Medford, it's October 2nd. 734-2700 is the number for Grants Pass, October 16th, and they can call 541-479-2828. Very good. Indra, great to meet you. Thank Thanks you so much. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 